Hi there. Today we're going to be decoding a product, a Biodermas product called Hydrobia Creme. The manufacturer says it provides rich moisturizing care and it's very good for very dehydrated skin. So let's actually get into the ingredients of this product and see if it actually does what the manufacturer says it does. Let's get started. The first ingredient is aqua, which is water. So basically the role of water, it's got not, it won't do anything to your skin as such, but the role in the product is to bring all the other ingredients together. It brings all the other ingredients in the product together and thus enhances the texture of the product because if it doesn't do that, all the ingredients will be by itself and that won't make the product effective. So that's water. Number two is glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant. It's found in a lot of skincare products. A humectant is a water magnet. So what a humectant does is it attracts water from the environment and brings it to the surface of the skin. So it's a very effective water magnet, very effective water magnet, glycerin, it's a humectant. So once it brings the water to the surface of the skin, um, it keeps the skin hydrated. So a hydrated skin is soft and plump. So that's what uh, high, um, uh, glycerin does. That's what humectants do and glycerin is a very good humectant. The next ingredient is isododecan. Isododecan is an emollient. An emollient, it um, forms a thin layer. And emollients, they form thin layer on top of your skin and they fill all the rough patches on your skin and give it a nice smooth um, uh, feel. And it's effective for as long as it's on top of the skin. It forms a very thin layer. A lot of moisturizing uh, moisturizers would have an emollient in it. And isodecan is also a solvent, meaning it brings all the other ingredients in the product together. Next, you've got cyclopentoxylaxan. Now, this one, um, it adds a nice slip texture to the product. If you look at the product the, from even without opening it, you can feel that it feels so smooth and it's got, it feels very slippery and as if it's, it's it, it feels like it's literally water in there. So that slip texture is given by this particular ingredient. What this ingredient does, it, it, it gives a slip texture to the product and as soon as it touches the skin, it evaporates. So it does its job and evaporates. It doesn't stay on the skin. Next, you've got propylene glycol dicarbolite. Now, this is also an emollient. An emollient forms a thin layer on top of the skin and fills up all the rough page patches and gives it a nice smooth feel. And then you've got dimethicone. Dimethicone also gives a nice slippery feel to the product. So that's what a dimethicone does. A dimethicone is also an emollient, meaning it forms a thin layer on top of the skin and give, fills up all the rough patches and gives it a nice smooth feel. Dimethicone also has some occlusive properties. What's an occlusive? An occlusive forms a slightly thicker barrier on top of the skin and prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment and thus keeps the skin hydrated. Dimeth that's what an occlusive does. Dimethicone is not a full-on occlusive, it's an emollient, it only forms a thin layer, but it does have some occlusive properties and it also gives a nice slip texture to the product. Finally, you've got propendiol. Propendiol is also a humectant. A humectant is a water magnet. A water magnet binds itself to the water molecules, brings water molecules from the environment to the top of the skin and keeps the skin hydrated. So that's about it. Those are the seven ingredients. The most important ingredients are, important, the, the important ingredients in the product are glycerin and propendiol. These are the humectants. These are the ones which is bringing water to the surface of the skin and keeping it hydrated. Glycerin is a humectant which, you'll find, which you will find in a lot of skincare products. It's effective in its job and it's also very cost effective. It's not a very expensive ingredient. Uh, and dimethicon gives, it's got, it's an emollient, so there are a lot of other emollients in the products and um, uh, cy cyclopentoxylaxin is what's giving you the slip texture to the product. Um, one thing I would very quickly like to mention about this product is, if you look at the product, it looks very liquidy and as if it's going to bring all that hydration to the skin and it feels and looks very good. And since the manufacturer says it's very good for dehydrated skin, it's very easy to get tempted by it and go, oh, it might bring all that, it looks so watery and as if it's rich in all this hydration, it's going to bring all that hydration to my skin and make it super hydrated. 
It might or it might not. Forget all that. That's all marketing. That's all fluff. The look, the feel, the words, all that's marketing. Look at the ingredients. We just went through the ingredients. See what the ingredients do. Look at the two ingredients that actually bring the water to the surface of the skin. Those are the only two ingredients that matter. See if it will actually help you uh, decode it for yourself. So they've got two ingredients which are humectants bringing water. So forget all the look, the feel, the words and all that. That's all marketing. Ignore that. That's a fluff. Decode the ingredients, read the ingredients, see what it does and then decide. So that's about it. So the main ones are the humectants, which is number two and number seven. And uh, it is a pricey product. So decode the product for yourself. Look at what the ingredients are doing. So you've got enough ideas to what each one is doing. Now try to think if it's actually, it will actually be as effective as what the manufacturer says and decide for yourself. So that's about it. At skincabin.com, we make skincare easy. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.